All right, guys, welcome to Born a Hawkeye. This is Corey again. Another energized day. I had a great night at work last night with the animals. But we got some serious ish to talk about right now. This is fear and loathing in Las Vegas, fear and lying in Las Vegas, fear and conspiracy in Las Vegas, fear and corruption in Las Vegas. You could name it a million different, uh, a million different tunes, but it's all the same. It's lies. Uh, Vegas mall hunted by rogue FBI brass. Death threats made to true pundit over Mandalay Bay investigation series called Fear and Lying in Las Vegas. I just reported on this. This is going to be my part two. And uh, if you guys uh, followed me over, I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all your guys' support and comments in the um, comment section. You know, each comment section is a, a wealth of just knowledge and uh, a lot of great people that are commenting and providing different information. Um, if you feel like I'm saying anything wrong or you disagree with me let me know we can talk about or debate that in the comments and you can enlighten me or uh you can give me some information that i don't know either way hit that big red button subscribe hit the bell notification to get notifications um my channel is actually going up a little bit i got about 40 subscribers within the last two days i appreciate that that's from the the, the first las vegas video i have and uh i'm on my way um i i want to you know I want to have a. I like I like to I like to ha have people around me that they care about truth. So it's really nice that you guys are subscribing. I appreciate it. Let's get into the story. You know, you got to have truth. You know, I've, so many stupid people in this world today who you would you would say shit like this to them and they just let it go right over their head. And be like, oh, you're crazy. You know, <laughs> you really whatever. Don't even think about it. You have no control. Yeah, you know, we do have control. I controlled, along with 120 other, 120,000 other people, legislation that made Kratom not banned. I have another video about that on my uh, platform. But yeah, people have control, all right? People, if they stand up to this, and they stand up to different legislation and bills and call their congressman like I did. I also have a video of me calling my congressman. People can do shit. So when people sit here and say, oh, whatever, what's going to happen is going to happen, that's not true. Well, that's what happens when you're a sheep and you lay down and do nothing about uh, situations like the gun bill that's being passed here in Florida right now. It's a bill It's called assault weapons. And the two ladies I spoke with on the phone couldn't identify what an assault weapon was. I said, what, just because it looks scary? All right, all right, I'm getting into it. Go check my channel out if you want that, and subscribe. I appreciate all your guys' opinions, and again, comment and like. Please like and share. The rogue faction of the FBI leftover disciples of Andrew McCabe's School of Federal Law Enforcement have waged a manhunt to find MBI, uh, FBI personnel who are leaking real, real details about the Mandalay Bay Massacre to independent news media. You might think the FBI would spend its time running down leads to pinpoint the details of Las Vegas shooting spree that claimed the lives of 58 people and injured 500 more. Not so. But it's imperative to understand the two FBI's at play in Las Vegas right now. One faction compromises the rank-and-file FBI who are working diligently to run down leads on Stephen Paddock and who helped him. And he did have help. The other faction at work are upper echelon, FBI, who are trying to control and curate a carefully constructed narrative. Paddock was a lone wolf. Sorry, I'm OCD. Paddock was a lone wolf, a mystery man who has stumped law enforcement. Even the Deep State House of Oregon. The Deep State's House of House Oregon. What the hell? Even the Deep State's House Oregon, the New York Times. Oh, I get it. The Oregon, like they play the harp. Okay. Uh, New York Times was employed to try and stop the bleeding this week of a faulty official narrative. They want to plug the leak up as fast as possible, one FBI source said. It's making a difference. On Thursday, federal law enforcement sources reported to True Pundit's Thomas Paine death threats from rogue factions of the intelligence community. The deep state angered by relevations from True Pundit's ongoing Fear and Lying in Las Vegas series. Well-placed FBI sources warn the information in the series is endangering Paine's life. Payne set out on social media to convey this true pun its readers. Quote, unquote, we have bombs coming on Las Vegas. If anything happens to me before that, the intel will still be published at the true pundit. Robin Gritz and other FBI DEA have volunteered to investigate my untimely death as well. So whacking me will not solve a damn thing. <laughs> Business as usual. Quoted by Thomas Payne at Thomas 1774 Payne, March 23rd of 2018. Reports from D.C. sources is that my life is in danger based on Las Vegas shooting series. True Pundit is publishing. I always like to shine the light on such threats for all to see. 
also means Intel is right on the money, right? What do they say? Um, when you're over the target, you catch flack. That's what military brass say. When you're over the target, you catch flack. And I think all of us who are watching this video, commenting on this video, liking this video, understanding this video, can understand in some sort of fashion. Because we've all been censored. We've all been... Um, my Twitter, every day I have 10 people deleted from me. I can never gain a following. I can never gain a YouTube subscription uh, rate because there's, always, there's subscribers being deleted. They have to resubscribe. And I'm not even a huge channel, you know. All I, I don't want to be popular. All I want to do is I want to I want to gain traction as to get the truth out. That's all I want. That's all I care for, you know. Um, so also means Intel is right on the money. Thanks for helping verify Deep State. <laughs> Thomas Paine. MGM resorts in a panic. Leak CCTV footage to New York Times on Deep State payroll to help Paddock look like mysterious lone wolf. Yeah, that's funny. Um, I didn't do a video on that yet. I did a, a Facebook post. And it's funny that they say that this was after the True Pundit, <laughs> the other video I did. Um, it shows Paddock nervous and bringing all the bags up and, you know, it just shows him. But look at his clothes. So you're saying that he wore the same clothes for a week? Yeah, those weren't selected footage. Okay. Looks very sketchy at best. Time to, de to deflect arming intel from True Pundit's fearing and lying in Las Vegas series. Deep State on the run. Sounds like a Q post, kind of, right? My first death threat as a journalist was when I was 23, Payne said. That was a long time ago. And if the deep state is hungry now, we haven't even gotten to the meat of the series. Oh, I can't wait. I'm rubbing my hands together like Diane Feinstein with gun control. And Trump saying due process. And that gets printed whether I'm here or not. No matter what. I'm fucking dropping this shit. It can't be stopped. This isn't 1990s or early 2000s where journalists like Gary Webb just gets killed and his message stops. The internet cured that. The stories run, no matter what. I'm only one soldier here. Payne said True Pundit will continue publishing the series, but refused to say when. Let's keep them on their toes, he said. The FBI maintains that Stephen Paddock, the reported lone gunman, was a mystery man, and his motive for killing dozens and injuring over 500 people still has not been pinpointed. Those assertions are simply untrue, FBI officials confirm. Lies. In the coming weeks, True Pundit will detail additional parts of its investigation into the shooting and, more importantly, paint a detailed portrait of the events leading to the shooting and Paddock's likely accomplices and associates. Oh, I can't wait. The major shocking revelations include when FBI brass was provided with forensic evidence of multiple government, they told agents stand down and focus on Paddock only. Stand down like Parkland. Yep, gun control. Stand down. Don't do anything. Sit outside the fucking building. Nope. Even a key internal audio captured by a hotel guest and multiple rifles firing from Mandalay Bay went on. It went ignored, covered up. When FBI brass was provided the names of persons of interest who likely assisted Paddock, agents were instructed not to interview the individuals. Criminal. One, one would-be target was never pursued despite pleadings from the intelligence officials and agents that he was possibly the second shooter. The FBI uncovered specific evidence showing that Paddock was anti-Trump and had affiliation with Antifa. I covered this in my last video. You can go back there and watch that if you need to about uh, Alex Jones' videos on him and stuff. Uh, though it was never divulged that the public agents did not follow such leads, pre-orders of their superiors. When FBI brass was given evidence that the shooting was possibly linked to Antifa radicals working with an ISIS-linked terror faction, including the full identities of some of the suspects with ties to both radical groups and or near Mandalay Bay the night of the deadly shooting. Agents were never instructed to follow up on the investigation and pursue the suspects. When intelligence officials approached the FBI, the LVMPD, with external evidence that Paddock was the only member of an organized terror cell, which included as many as five gunmen who planned to fire from the Mandalay Bay suite. The compelling evidence was covered up, never pursued. When FBI brass was provided with forensic evidence that Paddock's death was not a suicide, the intelligence was never pursued by the FBI and LVMPD. FBI sources said Paddock suffered two gunshots. His autopsy report only details a single bullet to the head. No, it's not true. We see in the picture, it's probably not even the same guy. He doesn't have the 13th tattoo on his neck. He's got a bullet to the head with his brain splattered on. The bullets are actually sitting on top of the blood, which makes absolutely no sense. His foot is underneath the bipod. 
Um, and then they said they rolled his body over. There's just a, so much stuff that we do not know. Um, release the footage. Release the footage. Yeah. Where's Jose Campos or whatever the fuck his name? Where's Campos at? Can we see him getting shot? Yeah, because on recordings it said that he thought he got shot by a BB gun. Yeah, okay. FBI sources maintain Paddock's autopsy was doctored and is a fraud. When an ISIS-linked terror businessman from Turkey was pinpointing the investigation and found to be residing near Las Vegas at the time of the shooting, FBI agents were not instructed to follow up and pursue intelligence leads showing possible links to the massacre. FBI and intelligence officials believe Paddock and associates chose to strike the Las Vegas country music concert with over 22K people because they likely supported President Trump. FBI agents said they were instructed to keep that key motive quiet as well. Nope. Nope. When a Bernie bro goes and shoots up congressmen on the park and almost kills our congressmen, if it wasn't for two people with handguns shooting them, not rifles, handguns, one was a lesbian at that too. And they tried to get, oh, lesbian safety. They tried to, like, slander, like, people like, oh, you're not letting lesbians in the military and shit like that. No, that's not what it's about. Two handguns across the field. That dude had a rifle. If those people weren't there with guns, it's, and that shows right there that if, you, if people are armed, they can stop people. What would they have done? It would have slaughtered our Congress. It would have slaughtered our Republicans. FBI agents said they were instructed to keep that key motive quiet, too. When MGM refused to share CCTV footage from Mandalay Bay, FBI agents were threatened by superiors that any whistleblowers divulging such relevations to the media would lose their jobs. The FBI still has never been provided all the camera footage from the Mandalay Bay, FBI agents said. When FBI agents from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, ATF, Dash E informed FBI bosses that Paddock didn't start buying dozens of guns until after Trump's election, they were told to keep that fact quiet and shrouded. Nope, can't be political. When FBI agents followed up on an ABC report that Paddock wired $100,000 to the Philippines shortly before the rampage, I made a Facebook post about this the day after it happened and noted that if his girlfriend went to the Philippines, it might have something to do with ISIS. Because that's an ISIS stronghold. And that was before Don this was before Donald Trump really took advantage and killed a lot of the ISIS members, which they're scrambling for cover. They're scrambling for ground. They're scrambling to take control of areas right now. They're basically 90, 96% wiped out. It's, you know, I mean, they were created by Obama, Hillary, and all the other um, John McCain shit. He's been pictured leading with them. But um, yeah, but the Philippines is a stronghold for ISIS. So him wiring $100,000 to Philippines is very, very, very sketchy. And I noted that in one of my Facebook posts. But nobody likes it because it's truth and everybody thinks I'm wearing a fucking tinfoil hat. So whatever, you know, I don't have, I don't have anybody to back me. I, at least I got you guys to back me. I love y'all. I love the people who watch this and comment and like and, and talk and give their information because I learned so much from the comments. I learned stuff that I don't know. Everybody else learns stuff. So please comment. If you have any comments or anything pertaining to the story, or how you feel about it, or, or anything you want to add, please put it down in the comments. Um, subscribe, uh, hit the bell. Um, I love you. Born a Hawk, I'll always be here for you. I check all my comments. Check all my comments. And um, you get a heart if I like your comment, which is almost all of them, because every comment that I have down there is pretty much truth or something that, that I didn't know that I, I need to hear about. But, uh, so uh, Philippines, shortly before the rampage, they confirmed the report was untrue. Oh, it's untrue. It's untrue. That's bullshit. It was fucking true. That was reported the day after. Shut the fuck up. Instead of disputing, FBI bosses embraced the false story, saying it helped build the narrative the Bureau was constructing about Paddock. FBI agents believed the story was planted with ABC by their superior. Oh, it's planted. Nothing's ever been planted in the media before, has it? Has it? Does anybody know... Does anybody know what a Project Mockingbird is? It's when the CIA actually implanted individuals into our top organizations that are owned by five companies. Currently, five companies own everything you see and view online. There's five different corporations like Disney. Disney just took over Fox, which is kind of fucking funny, right? Disney took over Fox. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, they also own MTV. But, so, yeah, the CIA were actually... He didn't really want to answer under a... 
under congressional review and questions. So he kind of like uh, dismissed the question, but then actually did agree and, uh, you know, divulge that there, there were uh, CIA operatives inside the media. And this was, <laughs> this was way back in the day. Anderson Cooper has uh, at least a two-year stint with CIA. Um, they came and picked him up while he was in college, and he interned with them. I'm not sure if you were aware of that, but um, they're in our media. So, um, FBI bosses embraced the false story, saying it helped build the narrative the FBI was constructing about Paddock. FBI agents believed the story was planted with ABC by their conspirators. Oh, I'm sorry, superiors. And there's much more that's not detailed here. This is only a summary. Help support True Pundit's independent voice by contributing today. Oh, that's sweet. All right, guys. Hey, I'm trying to report on this as uh, when it happens. This is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And let me copy this picture right here because this is freaking great. Oh, Lord, that's great. I'm going to download that image. That's a great image right there. But hey, guys, um, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to keep you all updated on what this Las Vegas story is about, what my thoughts are. Uh, let me know what other videos you might like me to make. I'm very new at this YouTube stuff. I've only had this for a year. It's slowly been, you know, my subscriber count has been going up. Um, it's kind of like Twitter. It's not as bad as Twitter. Twitter, like, deleted 10 of my subscribers every freaking day. But I love y'all, all right? I love y'all. This is Corey from Born a Hawkeye. Hope y'all have a great day.